Hello guys, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have discussed all about how we can store the record inside our database. In this video, I am gonna teach with you how you can display the record on the page. So I'm gonna go to my code editor and say my code editor I have uh, used uh, simple attributes like required by record. Those are basically validation, HTML5 validation. In previous video I don't remember that but this time I changed the attribute right so let's uh, write the first we need to create a file u.php inside this file I need to copy the whole code and paste it right and we just need to remove I leave the row and I remove the other content right okay so I'm gonna use uh, I'll leave that inside that I'm gonna write again there and use class call just write call and said that I'm gonna use class card inside card I'm gonna write again the card header right and then I'm gonna use uh, h2 right and then I'm gonna use uh, implies record And then after the closing this day, I'm going to write body, uh, card body. First, we need to use uh, the, the close and this class card body. Inside that, use table tag, tr tag, and td. First, I'm going to use id, copy that, best, best, best. And second one is a first name and last name, username and user email and I also assign the menu style that will help you to over 10% uh, right and then I copy that and paste here 20 30 okay copy test 20 50 and I'm gonna use uh, user 25 and also use 25 right this is our simple uh, table now one more thing we need to do we need to assign a class table table border border right say that and let's check it now view.php right this is our simple content I'm gonna display this content on the center so is class text center save and I'm gonna use also color mm, dark right and also we need to assign the space top five okay Inside this page, I want to display the localhost PHP my admin database record, right? So first thing we need to go on operations.php file and I'm gonna use also comment insert a record in the database, right? And this function is also the same thing. Insert record database secure 
after this function I'm gonna call uh, you database record public function and view underscore record parentheses but first we need to use the local db object and we need to write query select static from our table name is employees I think employees I need to check that crowd and then implies k implies now the next thing we need to call result mysqli query query and I will call this db connection now the second one is a query variable right set that now we need to copy this function and paste inside the view.php page right this one page so this page have already uh, made the object so we just uh, call the function like uh, view record so I'm gonna call db hyphen my no view record right this is a function name and we need to assign the this record inside our variable like a result and other thing we need to go on uh, operations.php file and we need to also call return keyword write the return result variable do you want to change the variable name you can do that in my case i use same thing inside view.php page right now after the this tr i'm going to call again tr and i'm going to call basic syntax of php right and i'm going to call while loop call db no i'm going to call data go to mysqli fetch fetch associate and pass result variable whichever data this variable so inside this skip bracket first I'm gonna leave this one and write the basic syntax of PHP again inside this section I'm gonna call TD basic syntax of PHP call echo and data variable like this one and use uh, array inside the array I need to use a uh, single quotation and first database column name ID copy that paste and second one is the first name copy paste um, last name copy paste username and copy paste third one is uh, email fourth one is the email right so let's check it now it's working or not okay it's working but we need to set up that okay we need to set up that this is a tr this is a closing okay we need to cut that also cut this one Paste here. Right, so I'll last check it now again. Right, perfect as you can see, guys. Those are empty values. Don't worry, you can use validation. Okay, now another thing is uh, we need to also use TD operations and I use 20. And one two three four and last one I'm gonna assign the star with um, ten percent. I use ten percent here and twenty percent this one. 
so and let's ignore again operation right and say the operation I'm gonna call again TD by the basic syntax no inside that I'm gonna call uh, have if closing uh, edit send it in us btn btn success right and save first say that and let's it now right edit 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 copy this one paste here and I'm mean, gonna use tell this is a danger so so that right we need to also use call a span call a span to sir perfect as you can see okay we need to call the page name so we will create a page but this time we need to assign the page name so I'm gonna use edit dot php page I will create this page and use a gate variable we will create a gate variable that will help you to perform the operation like uh, delete the record and also update the record so I'm gonna use UID this is a gate variable and assign the value like uh, co ID this one variable this one database column that will help you to get the particular ID we will use same thing inside uh, another page I'm gonna create a assign the page del.php and assign the also ID DID assign the value same value go and right that's it so I felt that I hover the mouse on the first page uh, I first problem first problem okay click on that I can't perform the operation so I need to check that why I seen this one problem just a minute guys I check that okay the problem is we need to use this one variable first one then right right and after that now the mouse as you can see guys on the bottom right side left side have our ids like uh, uid1 uid2 uid3 and uid4 as you can see uid4 click on tell id d underscore ID equal to one. This is a del dot php page. We will create that down later. And this is a d del dot php d underscore id two. So we'll use this one variable to get the particular user ID to perform the operation like edit and delete record. So in this video, we have used simple statement like select aesthetic from our table name and perform the simple task to display the data on the page i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture